In this series of DA lectures, today we will see how to write an algorithm. I have already discussed what is algorithm, how algorithm is different from program and some properties of algorithm, right. So today in this video we will see with the help of two example how to write an algorithm, right. But before proceeding, I just want to tell you one thing for those who are interested in competitive programming, an academy in collaboration with CodeChef has started a course to learn competitive programming. There you can watch live classes, but if you have missed any live class, then it's okay. You can also watch the recorded sessions and the top educators will teach you. And these educators are already toppers of ACM ICPC. I hope those who are interested in competitive programming, they know what is ICPC, right? And they are also working in top MNCs like Google, Flipkart, and they are going to teach you all the important topics of competitive programming means the topics from which many questions are generally asked in competitive programming like string analysis, segment trees, dynamic programming, greedy uh, algorithm, these kind of things, right. And with the theoretical part, they will also uh, show you in a proper lecture like how to solve a particular type of problem, like how to solve this kind of dynamic programming problem. If you like their free classes, then you can go for their paid subscription. There they, you will get a proper structured course. So this is the pricing detail and if you will use my code then you will get 10% discount. My code is Jenny10 and after purchasing their paid subscription you can also see the upcoming lectures like on what date and on, at what time the next class would be conducted. So if you like it you can go for it. All the details and the link of this course I'll give you in the description box of this video. You can go and check out there. So now let us take one example. I'm going to take simple example sum of two numbers, right? How the processor is what? Like you need to take two numbers, input of two numbers, then add two numbers A plus B, then print the sum, right? These are the steps. So algorithm is what? Obviously these are sequence of instruction or sequence of steps to solve a particular type of problem right now how to write an algorithm see generally we write what there is no standard rule for writing algorithm like you have to follow these rules only you have to write this type only that thing also also we'll discuss so first thing is generally we write numbering of each instruction or each step like first is step one and in step one we write what start right then step two now for adding two numbers, you need two numbers, right? So you need input of two numbers. So here you can write read A and B or you can write input two numbers A and B or you can write enter A, B, yeah, enter num1, num2, it's up to you, right? But See, here I am writing either read or input or enter, but whatever I am writing, you are able to understand, right? That is the main thing. Each instruction should be clear and unambiguous. It's not like that I am simply writing read. Now this is what? We are not able to understand. It is ambiguous statement. But if I am writing read A and B, it means what? I am reading two numbers. I am inputting two numbers, fine? Now next step, now we need to process on these inputs, process is what you need to calculate sum. Now in step 4 what you will do, just you will print sum, you can all write here print sum and step 5 is what stop or here you can also write end. So this is simple example. Now here you can also write something like this, the symbol is equal to, so here you can also write like this, in algorithm you can also write like this. This is the same, I mean the meaning is same, sum of a plus b and that value would be assigned to sum. Now if you will say you haven't, I haven't declare a, b or sum, so when you write algorithm then no need to declare any variables, but if you want to declare you can also write here after start declare variable a, b and sum that is also fine. That is why I have already told you that there is no stand standard rule for writing algorithm, right? If you are not declaring these variables that is also fine. Here you are writing print sum, here you can write output sum. 
that is also fine but whatever you you are you are going to return that should be understandable that each instruction should be very clear and unambiguous that is the main thing this is the simple example now let me take one more example like suppose if you want to write an algorithm for finding out a largest among three numbers then here obviously you will need if else statements so first is same you will write step 1 and start step 2 three numbers you need right so you can write here read a b c fine or you can write enter a b c or you can write input a b c now step third is now you need to check which one is largest so how can you check like if we write if a greater than b then here also you will check a greater than b again if a greater than c means largest is what a so here you can write print a is largest right else print c is largest i hope you are getting why i am writing c is largest right now if else for this if else will check if b greater than c then you will print b is largest else print c is largest and now it's done in step 4 you can write stop or end this is one way of writing algorithm for finding largest number there are multiple ways second way maybe i'm writing step 1 same start in step 2 you have to read input if there is any input in algorithm see in properties we have seen there can be zero input or more than zero inputs like one two three so here we have three inputs so you can write read a b c or num1 num2 num3 up to you these are variables name of variables in step 3 i can write if a greater than b c in one step only i have written all these but here you can write down in different different steps so what you can do suppose i am writing if a greater than b then go to step 4 like next step otherwise see when you are writing algorithm then at place of else you can also write otherwise go to step 5 now step 4 is what in step 4 i am writing this condition i am checking this condition if a is greater than c then print a is largest it's okay you can write then if you don't write then then it, it then it's also fine okay otherwise print c is largest right and step 5 is what this condition i am writing in step 5 if b greater than c then print b is largest otherwise print c is largest and next step step 6 here you can write stop or end so this is how you can write algorithm and algorithm is what it is independent of any programming language simple natural in natural language or you can say in english language you will write down algorithm and you can implement the algorithm in any programming language it doesn't matter that if you will write this type of algorithm then you can implement in c only c only right and if you write this kind of algorithm you can implement it in in java only like the same example if you want to prepare tea then steps are what you will add some water in a pan put it on flame add tea leaves sugar milk and then boil and your tea is ready now it's it doesn't matter that you are preparing tea on gas stove or on chula or on induction or on heater right obviously steps would be same 
so steps would be same it doesn't matter you are implementing this in c language java language python or dot net or in any other language but when you are writing algorithm you have to follow the properties input there should be one output input can be zero or more input output should be one and every statement would be clear have one meaning unambiguous there should be finiteness means finite steps would be there in algorithm all these properties we have already discussed so i hope you got how to write an algorithm if you want to write any loop like in loop what you need to do within that loop whatever you will write those uh, statements would be repeated right so you can write what simple repeat step next step like suppose here in this step i am writing this is step suppose third and i want to repeat next step so you can write repeat step 4 until the condition here you can write condition means no need to write down brackets just write down condition and next step is 4 you can whatever you want to repeat you can write down here obviously whatever you will written in the loops those in the those brackets those statements will be repeated till that condition you give that is true right so same repeat it you can also write this uh, simple word repeat so that's it for this video but if you want me to make one more video like uh, in algorithm how to write for loop while loop or do while loop then you can tell me in the comment box i'll upload one more video right with uh, some more example two or three more examples right so now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care